Hey, I'm Janelle, and this is to DIY for. So I've been having a lot of fun this year organizing my life and revamping a bunch of spaces in our apartment. If you haven't already checked out the makeover of the bathroom that I did for around $50 or the makeover of my DIY supply closet, check out those videos. I'll leave them linked up above for you to look at. Still to come is a bedroom makeover, but this week I'm tackling an entryway. And um, I say an entryway because it's not technically in our apartment. We have one, we have a closet to store our coats and our boots, but it's pretty small. And whenever guests come over, it just gets so crowded. So we have this little space that's just out front of our apartment. It's still indoors because we live in a house that's been split up into a couple of apartments. This is kind of like another entryway that's shared with the people who live above us. So this little nook is right in front of our doorway. I figured I could claim it as our own. And I thought it'd be a great space for our guests to hang their coats and extra boot storage as well. So I'm gonna show you how I transform this space again on a budget. I like to do things as cheap as possible. And um, I think I did this for around 30, $35. So let's get into it. So here is the space that we're working with. As I mentioned, this is a shared entryway. Our door is this door right here. The staircase leads to the other apartment upstairs. And that's the entry door from outside. It's disgusting, I know. It's shameful to even show you how bad this was. I originally thought I was gonna have to completely paint the space and the walls, but I thought I'd try cleaning them first. And look, it all came off. So I would highly suggest doing the same if you are finding yourself in the same kind of situation. I was amazed at the difference this made. I mean, this space already looks like I had refreshed and painted it. The only thing is, is that these baseboards were absolutely disgusting. No amount of cleaning was going to get that off. So I decided to go over them with a fresh coat of white paint to really freshen them up. I already had this paint on hand. So that was a really quick, easy job to do because this is such a small space. And because it's tiling, you can easily just wipe off the paint and I didn't bother taping anything. So as you can see, this really helped the space out. So next I'm gonna build my little coat rack. You're going to need just a handsaw, a measuring tape, your uh, drill and a drill bit. Also a one by two and a dowel at uh, the size that you'd like to work with. So my one by two is 50 inches long. I got them to cut it at the store for me because that's the length of my wall. And here I'm just deciding how far apart I want my pegs to be. I decided to go with five inches apart and that allowed me to have nine pegs. So I just marked these all out on my one by two. And then I went to my half inch dowel and I marked out two and a half inches for each of my pegs. Keep in mind, a part of that dowel is going to be buried inside either your one by two. So make it a little bit longer than you want. This is pretty easy to do with just a hand saw so go ahead and trim all of your pieces and then you're going to have to sand them down on each end because they'll be a little bit rough but just take some sandpaper and um, I finished it off with 320 sand grit uh, or sandpaper so next I took my half inch drill bit just make sure it's the same size as the dowel that you're working with and you're gonna drill down into all of your peg holes make sure it's in the middle of your board and I made sure not to drill all the way through so I drilled I want to say about halfway into that board at least and that's just because it's gonna allow um, the glue to hold the peg in the back of the board make sure you put a piece of wood behind that as well so you don't drill accidentally all the way through your table so use a little bit of wood glue after you've given the whole piece a quick sand down and then I put some glue on the sides of each of my little dowels and I popped them in it should be a nice tight snug fit and just push that in all the way and make sure you wipe away any excess glue so then you can allow that to dry once it is dry you can give it a coat of paint or stain it just a tip if you're staining I totally forgot to stir my stain before I put it on look at the difference it makes yeah a very big difference so it's not gonna be this color when it's all done you allow that to wait there for about 15 minutes and then you wipe it away and I have this beautiful new stained piece I then allowed that to dry overnight and to finish this entire piece off I did some varathane on here it's just some clear coat you'll want to do a couple 
couple of coats of this that will just seal your project together and protect it as well. So now I'm gonna move on to hanging this. I would highly suggest getting a friend to help. I had nobody to help me, so it's a little bit tricky and difficult, especially to try and make things level. But I decided to screw this into my wall on either end. That way I knew I'd be screwing into a stud and it'd be a lot more secure of a hold. And because I don't have a stud finder, this is my stud finder. Me just pounding my fist along the wall, looking for hollow sounds versus solid sounds. And surprisingly, I actually did find two studs in the middle of this board that I could uh, additionally screw it to. It needs to be able to bear a lot of weight, especially in the winter time in Canada, coats can get heavy. So here's where I think maybe there's a different option because I decided to screw this into place. I tried my best to bury the screws and then I went back with some wood filler and this is supposed to be able to be stained and everything once it's dried and sanded. But honestly, I never think that it gives the same effect. You can always see that circle sticking out there, as you can see when I put my stain back over top of it. So maybe the better option is to put little tiny nails in. I just thought that the screws would hold better. Um, let me know what you think though, if you have a better option on doing this to hide the fact that this is fastened to the wall. Leave that down in the comments below. Honestly though, it works for me and I was able to get a pretty good match. So I also put a mirror in this space. I think it's great to have a mirror to uh, just check your outfit and everything before you pop out the door. And this mirror was $5 from the thrift store. I um, also picked up this mat from Ikea. It was $12 or $13. By the way, I spent about $7 on the wood. So this project's not costing a lot of money. And look at this beautiful find from the thrift store. Can you believe this thing was only $12 in perfect condition? I don't know who was throwing this out, but I snagged it. And then additionally, I just had a few decor items from home already. I popped in some dried eucalyptus because there's no window in here for real plants. And this piece that I picked up around Christmas time that I use as a mini lantern. All right, so not bad for 35 bucks, right? At least that's the way I'm feeling about it. Honestly, I am thrilled with how this turned out. It's even better than I imagined it would have. And it was so quick and easy and cheap to do. Let me know what you thought of it. Give the video a like if you love this space. Um, let me know if there's anything you would have maybe changed or added. Leave that down in the comments below or also just let me know what your favorite part of it is. My favorite part is definitely that uh, DIY coat hanger rail that I made. I don't know what it's called, but really it requires minimal tools and it's such a great way to add a lot of storage for um, coats and purses and those kinds of belongings when you don't have a very big space. I mean, I've got nine pegs up there now. It cost me $7 to make that and I have excess wood. I could have made it bigger or longer and wrap around longer. And when you take into consideration that buying a hook is probably around $2 and installing them all, that's about $18. I spent $7. There's already huge savings right there. And that thing is so much more aesthetically pleasing than just a couple of random hooks in my opinion. So let me know what you thought of the DIY. Feel free to uh, send me some photos of your revamped spaces at home. I really hope this helps inspire you because when you do these little tiny changes that just makes your space more functional, you're really gonna fall in love with it all over again. I've been here a year now and I like absolutely love our entryway and cannot wait to have some guests over so they can see it off and I can show off my work. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Welcome, I'm so happy that you found me. Please come back every single Wednesday. I've got a new DIY for you and hopefully my new bedroom makeover will be ready next Wednesday. Cheers.